Today we are looking into Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands is a really simple indicator and it's for a good use, so let's find out. The basic principle of a Bollinger Band is that you take a short position when you touch the top and you take a long position when you touch the bottom. Um, it might look really easy, but um, you will get stopped out a lot of times because you would have taken a shot here, you would have taken a shot there, you would have taken a shot there. You will all have been stopped out. So we are looking for more confirmations to get a solid entry. And that can be everything. That can be an RSI, that can be divergences on the RSI. To be fair, I don't like hidden divergences. I normally only use the regular, the bullish and the bearish divergence. So you could say that the price here is going down and the RSI is going up. I don't use that divergence. I use it only that the price goes up and the RSI goes down and vice versa for the bullish divergence. Um, I had to make that clear because um, what I'm going to tell you is that I'm always looking for divergences. Let me write that down for you. I'm looking for divergences, uh, price action, and just a regular technical analysis. L look for um, Price action is really wide. Look for patterns. Look, f do your support resistance. Uh, set your trend lines. I think if I'm not going to add any more than this, and price actions. I also mean like 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 look for engulfing candles. I prefer that one a lot on the Bollinger Bands. So if you don't know what engulfing candles are. Uh, let me look one for you. Right here you have a... Oh wait, that's not an engulfing candle. Right here you have an engulfing candle. So right here, okay, you have a downwards momentum. You are underneath the uh, Bollinger Band. And you create an engulfing candle right here. Because the green one is completely covering the red one and it's a bit bigger. That's a engulfing candle. Okay? Okay, that's cool. And what else can you see? Oh, wait. That goes down. That goes up. That is a bullish divergence. So, what do we have here? We have a signal from the Bollinger Band that you should take a long position. But that's already started here. But we want the price to be closing above the line again and you need some confirmations that um, this is the price reversal. This is super bearish. Do not take it already. You need something to confirm. Well, that's your engulfing candle right there. And you have a divergence and it closes above the line again. So that's a nice long position. Where do you place your stop loss? Do it underneath the last swing low or use an ATR. That's up to you. Um, and I would take the profit, like 50% of it in the middle. Set your stop loss back to that point and see how far you can go. Because um, the Bollinger Band is really nice for these swing trades. And um, split, split your profit in two parts. So you're looking for as much as confirmations you can get you're looking for that. So right here, the price, um, the price went down, and the oscillator went up. I'm not looking for that. That's a hidden divergence. I don't want that. I find them way weaker than normal divergences. So that's not an. Uh, that's not a signal. The only signal right here that you have is that it's touching the Bollinger Band. So that's not a short position for me, not at all. Right here you had the engulfing candle, but it closed above the middle of the Bollinger Band. I also would not take that entry. So I would have skipped this complete part already. And as you can see, it's not going beyond the middle line. So it keeps climbing, it keeps climbing. 
there's not really much going on the RSI is being overbought right here so it might reverse soon so what are you seeing when you are here the price went higher and the oscillator went lower and that is a bearish divergence and that's where I'm looking for that's what I like to see so that is a nice confirmation together with this red candle closing instantly underneath it that would be a nice short position because I have two confirmations right there and the RSI was overboard before so take your profit in the middle and just ride it towards the lower point move your stop loss move it there and see how far you can stretch it so that's a second entry so what are my Bollinger Bands doing here they are literally only telling me to look for an entry not to take an entry okay I hope that's clear so you had a trend reversal right there you had a divergence and you made a lower high and a lower low but right here it broke the lower high but what happened you had a big ass wick there so there are a lot of sellers going on there what's this candle oh wait that's an engulfing candle oh okay that's interesting so what do I have I sort of have three confirmations right there and this price just close above this uh, resistance line actually it's a support line if you draw it from there so that's some nice uh, entries where do you place your stop loss you could last one high ATR whatever it's up to you it's it's always personal same stuff okay next point we're touching the bottom here but wait aren't we in a downtrend yeah we are are you looking for positions well that's depending on how many confirmations you can get um, would I take this position probably not because this candle is way too big for me but you would have had a profit in the end because you have a, a golfing candle right there so the only downside right now is that you are in a downtrend so you are trading against a trend but well if you are uh, living uh, on the edge you could uh, set your stop loss underneath the last swing low underneath that the wick and take the profit again but I would not recommend uh, trading against a trend I normally just look to the overall market so what are we creating we are creating lower highs so where I'm looking for I'm looking for short positions okay so we had an entry right there there was an engulfing candle oh wait what's this another engulfing candle you see how important engulfing candles are for me it's really important to be honest so it touched it it touched our dynamic resistance line of the Bollinger Bands so that was a nice short position right there because you touch the Bollinger Bear and Golfing Candle wait you could also draw trend lines oh look at that it closed underneath it it tried to fake out fake you out and it got rejected immediately with a Golfing Candle super bearish nice short position and you can keep going like this it's it's not the hardest thing to do so nice short position are you looking for longs here no you're not because you're in a downtrend did it break here yes it did so you went you made lower highs and lower lowers but right here you broke it so are you instantly on an uptrend no you're not it might be a fake out you need some confirmations that you literally switch trend so it went down immediately but it went back up again you made a higher high and a higher low so what are we looking for well this support right here should hold it it's doing that that's literally basic chart reading so you are right now in a small uptrend so what are you looking for well long positions actually could you take this position well it's an engulfing candle you could that's up to you what else can you see well if you look at the price and you see the bottom here to there and you see the bottom from here to there what are we seeing the price is going down it's a hidden bullish divergence I know I'm not looking for that 
I'm gonna skip this to count as a confirmation. But in the end, it's a confirmation because you already had also that you are in an uptrend. You are having a uh, engulfing candle and you have a hidden divergence. A hidden divergence for me cannot be my main confirmation, but it can add extra to the other confirmations. It's hard. Uh, it, it cannot be my main focus, but it's doing something there. So could you take a long position there? Yes, you could, but it's tough because you are not sure that the support hold here. So it's a bit gambling there. I don't like that. So I would not have taken this one. I would like to wait that out. I wait for the second or the third part. So right here, are we, are we looking for shorts right now? Not really. But there's a support right there, a resistance line right there. It got rejected there. So in the end, where are we looking for? We are still looking for longs. But what happened? Oh, the last support, it broke out. And now, what do we have to do? Are we still in an uptrend? Well, we are going pretty much sideways here. So we're not really trending right now. Can you take this long position? Well, it is a engulfing candle going back into the Bollinger Band. That's something. That's a confirmation. Um, is the price going down and is RSI going up? No, so that's not a divergence. So you only have one real confirmation next to your signal of the Bollinger Band. You could take it. It's up to you. Um, but right here you had it as well. You had an engulfing candle right there after that. So you could have taken this long position also. But you're going sideways, so that's tough. When the Bollinger Bands are closing into each other, it's waiting to break out. So I would say wait, wait the fuck out if you're not sure. <laughs> Can't say more than that, actually. Um, do we take short positions right here? Here, no, it's really risky. I would rather not. But in the end, that's up to you as well. I don't have a engulfing candle. There's a lot of bullish. Of course, this should be going weaker. But we're not sure. We we are not getting that confirmation. The RSI is the same, so we don't have any divergence. So we're just gonna wait it out. And right here, after a big move like we we've just had. I like to wait it out a little bit and see which which kind of trend that, that it's forming. So um, yeah, just follow the price what you're trying to. Let's see what happens. So what is it doing? Well, for me, it's going sideways. So can you still trade on that? Yeah, sure, you can easily with uh, Bollinger Bands. To be fair. Uh, what you can do when it's going sideways, look for uh, divergences, look for engulfing candles, but you can uh, trade both ways. So that's always up to you. Would I take this entry with a big ass candle like that? Probably not. Probably not. Um, you had a double top on the uh, RSI, which I'm sometimes looking for. Um, which is a sort of a bearish momentum. The price, uh, sorry, the, yeah, the price is going up. This one is going sideways. Not a strong divergence. We don't like that. I probably would have skipped this one. Right here, the price is super going down. But uh, okay, what happened here? The price went down. You had the indecision, uh, indecisive uh, candle. After that, you had an engulfing one, so you're still not sure where the market is going. Um, it is a bullish sign, but this candle in front of it, I don't really like that uh, to take a long position. You might have taken it, you would have been stopped out, and you just look for a new position. Right here as well, you, you are going pretty sideways. It's not a clear trend to me. So where am I looking for? Not trend-based entries, just both ways. So right here, big engulfing candle. It's a hard decision, but the candle is not 
quite far in the Bollinger Bench yet, so you can still take that long position. Do we have an entry here for a short position? Let me see the price. No, I don't really see anything to take this short position. Does it matter? No, just, just wait till you can find a good confirmation. Right here, what do we see? Did I just have that? No. So right here, it touched the Bollinger Band with the wick as a support. After that, big engulfing candle. 1.5 confirmation. <laughs> uh, what else can we see? Can we see something going on? No, not really. Could you take this one? Well, yeah. I like engulfing candles. Um, just have your stop loss tied so you don't lose a lot. Do you have an entry right here? Well, no. So am I... I'm just waiting out, waiting it out. And what can we see what's forming? It's forming an uptrend right now. And I think this is the current price if I stop this. Yeah, it's the current price. Um, so I, I literally didn't even cherry pick it. Um, so did we take a short position here? No, we had no signal at all. And you can see right now that we are forming an uptrend. So I would not have taken any entry right there. Because making higher highs and higher lows. And let's see what's going to happen right here. If this candle closes, you have a go from candle, but you are in an uptrend. Um, but if this candle closes underneath this uh, support line, you broke it and go from candle double bearish. You could take the entry. It's a bit more risky, but it's possible. Um, I hope to make. I hope I made some things clear on how I trade with the Bollinger Band. Um, in the end, everything is personal. If this works for me, it might not work for you and vice versa. Um, if you like these type of videos, don't forget to subscribe and to like it. And uh, down in the description below, we have a Bybit link and a Patreon link. With the Patreon link, you could get you get a free, uh, not free because you have to pay for it. You get a course and you get premium signals. And you get our own private indicators. Uh, which, in my opinion, is a great deal. Um, we have someone making the calls and they are literally really good. Um, and if you want to use Bybit like us, the link is down in the description below. I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day. Cheers.